Hello everyone, today we will discuss about BGP on Junos and put our focus on a problem you will face one day for sure, hidden routes. So, how can we put ourselves in a situation where a BGP route is hidden? Well, that's actually quite simple. A router will hide a route because it cannot use it. But why? Well, in Junos there are a couple of reasons why this could happen. The most frequent one is the fact that you explicitly reject this route in your BGP import policy. You might also be in a situation where the next hop of the route is unreachable. And this can also happen when the highest pass of the route contains illegal attributes. To be honest, there are many other reasons why this could happen. Now, the ultimate question is how do we spot and fix this behavior? Well, I will use the diagram below to demonstrate this. In this use case, we have two routers connected via an IBGP session. Router 2 on the right side is connected to three different networks in the 172.16 IP space and it re-advertises those prefix using our IBGP session. Now, guess what? Router 1 has some issue with the second and third routes. They show up as hidden. So let's have a look to this setup and try to understand what's going on. All right, so router 1 is on the left and router 2 is on the right. First thing first, let's verify router 2 actually advertised those prefix to router 1 with the show route advertising protocol followed by the IP address of router 1. So far, so good. I can see my three prefixes being advertised. Now, let's have a look on router 1 and check if those prefixes are received. For this, we use pretty much the same command, but the other way around. So we do a show route receive protocol BGP with the IP of router 2. And as you can see, things are not going so well. We only receive one prefix, the dot 3. And if you look closely at this output, we can also see that two prefixes are hidden. Okay, so let's try to understand why the first route is hidden with a show route. And I'm also going to use the hidden and detail knob in my command. Something I really love about Genos in this situation is that it's telling me the exact reason why the route is hidden. See, reject by import policy. Okay, so let's review the import policy for this peering now. So as you can see, this one is very straightforward. We have only allowed the dot two and dot three prefix in this import policy and the rest is denied. So I will now add a dot one subnet to it and we shall be okay. Let's now verify if the route is accepted. And it is. So I'm now going to clear my screen and we will try to understand why the second route is still hidden. Okay, I'm using the same command as before for the dot two prefix. And in this output, I don't see any particular reason why the route is hidden. However, the message I see at the top is a bit weird. Unusable next hop. So apparently this next hop right here is unusable. Well, let's verify if I can resolve it locally with a show route. Look like we cannot. Now, remember this route is advertised to us from router 2. And there is no doubt router 2 knows how to resolve this IP, but we cannot. In theory, I should use a next hop self policy on router 2 because as you can see, it kept the original next hop during the export. And this is why I'm having trouble. Right now, I only want a quick fix, so I will create a static route for this specific IP pointing to router 2. Let's have a look to the accepted prefix again. And we now have solved all our hidden routes problem. Well done. That's it for today everyone, I hope you learned something and please let me know if you'd like to see more routing video related to Genos like this one on my channel.